This lesson is about multiplying and dividing numbers that are written in scientific notation. Our first example is multiplying two numbers that have been written in scientific notation. So using our commutative property, we're going to regroup. I'm going to multiply 8 times 7. And then I'm going to multiply my powers of 10. 8 times 7 is 56. Multiplied by 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 4th. Using my product of powers property, I'm going to add the 6 and the 4, so I would now have 10 to the 10th power. Whenever I write answers in scientific notation, I remember I have to have a number that is written between 1 and 10, which 56 is not. So I need to rewrite that, which means I need to put the decimal between the 5 and the 6. So that would give me 5.6 multiplied by 10, but remember I moved my decimal. So in order to take this decimal and put it back to where my original number was, 56, I would have to take it from where I have it now over one place to the right, so I need to go one more place to the right. So I already had to the 10th power, plus an additional place to the right would give me 10 to the 11th power. So now I check, yes, my answer is in scientific notation, so my answer to my problem is 5 and 6 tenths times 10 to the 11th power. So now we're going to do dividing with scientific notation. So I have 1 and 11 thousandths times 10 to the negative 7th being divided by 3 times 10 to the negative 3rd. At first I look at that and I go, well, can I really divide that by 3? Well, let's check our division by factor of 3 rule. So 1 plus 0 is 0, plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and 3 does divide by 3, so I know it is in fact a factor. So I'm going to go to the left side and I'm actually going to now divide that by 3. So 3 divides into 10 3 times. Bring down my 1, 3 goes into 9 3 times. And 3 goes into 20, 21 7 times. And I put my decimal upwards. So I now have 0.337 multiplied by Taking my quotient product property, I know that I need to subtract my exponents. So I have 10, and I have a negative 7 minus 3, which is really a negative 7 plus a negative 3, so my power is to the negative 10th. Now again, I need to check and verify, is this in scientific notation form? It's not, because this isn't a number between 1 and 10. So I want to write 3, my decimal is going to go after my first digit, so 3.37 times 10, and again, I've moved my decimal, so I need to think about what did I do. Well, my decimal's here, but in order to be equivalent, I need to actually move it one place to the left, so that if I go one place to the left, my power, instead of being a negative 10, and then one more to the left would be to the negative 11 power. And that's how we multiply and divide when we are writing numbers in scientific notation.